Welcome to the Apple Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is August 18th, 2024, and we've got some fascinating stories lined up for you. From nostalgic gaming experiences on vintage hardware to historic auctions featuring iconic Apple artifacts, there's plenty to explore. As always, links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Let's dive into our first story, which takes us on a journey back to the golden age of role-playing games. Nox Archeist, a new RPG developed by 6502 Workshop, is designed for the classic Apple II platform, as well as Windows and Mac OS. This game draws inspiration from legendary 1980s fantasy games like Ultima and Wizardry, offering a rich storyline filled with magic and adventure. Players will encounter engaging NPCs and face various enemies while exploring a non-linear world. The game features skills-driven character development and strategic turn-based combat, pushing the Apple II's capabilities to their limits. Nox Arcist is available for order in both digital download and collector's box set formats, with a manual cover painted by Dennis Lubay. A playable demo with limited content is expected to be released as a free download. Interestingly, the game includes well-known figures as NPCs, such as Steve Wozniak and Lord British. The technical aspects of Nox Arcist are impressive, with a custom game engine coded entirely in 6502 Assembler and advanced graphics techniques like page flipping for smoother animations. The community around Nox Arcist is vibrant, with active forums and discussions about gameplay features and technical support. The developers are also considering future expansions and enhancements, including a potential remaster with improved graphics and sound. Overall, Nox Arcest aims to capture the nostalgia of classic RPGs while providing a modern gaming experience on vintage hardware. Now, shifting gears to the world of auctions and historic artifacts. Christie's is set to auction key items from the collection of the late Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen, including an Apple One computer that once belonged to Steve Jobs. This rare piece is estimated to fetch between $500,000 and $800,000. The auction will take place on September 10th at Christie's Rockefeller Center in New York as part of a series of sales featuring over 150 items from Allen's collection. This collection includes historic computers and memorabilia from the now-closed Living Computers Museum in Seattle, reflecting significant milestones in the history of personal computing. The auction follows the museum's permanent closure, which disappointed many fans and raised concerns about the future of the artifacts. Local historians hope that some items will remain in Seattle for public display, depending on local investors' success in bidding. The auction will consist of three sales, a live auction in New York, and two online sales running from August 23rd to September 12th. Notable items in the live auction include a signed letter from Albert Einstein and a four-rotor Enigma machine from 1941. Proceeds from the auction will support charitable causes, in line with Allen's wishes. Christie's previously collaborated with Allen's estate for a record-breaking art auction in 2022, raising $1.62 billion. An exhibition of selected items from the upcoming sales will be held at Christie's New York from September 5 to 9. That's all for today's episode of the Apple Daily News. We hope you enjoyed these stories of nostalgia and history. Don't forget to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we covered today. Join us again tomorrow for more updates from the world of Apple technology. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring.